Something a little bit terrible has happened. Yeah. Right, we're off to the Folly Inn and we're going to get on to the boat from there, but go via the shop to refuel, so we take some cans with us. Then we're going to head up the river and I think because of the tide we're actually going to head back down to Newtown Creek, but perhaps get as far as Yarmouth this time, because last time we only got to Newtown Creek and it wasn't quite far. We could leave the boat overnight in Yarmouth and I could stay on the boat or we could all come back on the boat this evening. The tide turns at 5.30, so we shall see. Uh, but we're going to go and get lots of nice food to have on the boat and do some sailing with Jace. Hi, so right now we're going to get the tiny boat. I'm just going to call it. Um, and we're going to, and we're going to get back to Sovereign. Today we're not doing much different from the last vlog, but we are going to do some crabbing this time. I have now. the lighter and lighter. I don't know what we're right. going to do. Right, we've got a bit of an issue in that one of our cords I put on is abrading very badly. So I'm just going to replace that now. Um, this is quite a lot of tension. Probably a little bit of help from some of my sailors on board. So I'm going to cut off using some very technical scissors the old cord here and then we're going to get this new cord on. this through here. So I'm keeping the whole thing under tension. So there's a lot of strength in this nylon, but it's obviously not the right thing for the job. stops it pulling back through. See? Does it stop it fraying? Yep, it stops it fraying. It also makes a little lump on the end to stop it pulling through. That's perfect. Can you see the little it lump? It looks there? like quite blue. It does look like hot blue. Do you want? Do you need I got this. Hair? I got this at no. um, Morrison's for seven pounds. Seven pounds. If you would like one, then that's seven, seven pounds. Thank you. They're called mini brands, and they just have these tiny Who's little toys this? in them, and they're really yeah. cute. But this? like the toys, are, are like Who's real brands, but just mini versions. Ah, oh, it's so cute. It's like a little orange. Oh, okay, so this yeah, is a seriously real? good oh, mayonnaise. Oh, they're just little um, yeah. This is a Heinz mayonnaise mini bottle. It has all the like little information, but I don't. Yep, yeah, it's all the information. Please, like can I... This is what I got in the um, mini brand thing. I got a dose and co. I don't know what it is actually, what is it? Um, and then I got this, this one's my favourite. Uh, a mini ketchup bottle. 
you get five in each thing. Um, I got a lot of plants up. I got um tomato soup. Um, I got some mayonnaise, which is also Heinz. And then I got some garden birdside peas. And these are all the things that you can collect. And it's double sided too. I'm having fresh crab. I'm tying a bread with cheese, with fresh salad and tomato from the island. I'm going to have a um, ham and butter sandwich and I'm having Pringles too. What should we do? Oil, water, diesel, and we should check the raw water filter. What's that? And squirty cheese. What's the raw water filter? That's the thing which allows the cool sea water to come in and exchange with the fresh water on the engine to cool the engine down. But obviously seaweed or crabs or even a whale could come through those. <laughs> holes so we need to make sure that the raw water filter is empty of any um, seaweed so for safety and cooling of the engine. We're about to leave um, what we should have done is set the crab nets up when we arrive or we prep the food and we can pull the food out. Okay we're heading to Yarmouth again hopefully we're gonna do some swimming in Yarmouth because that's literally my favourite part of um, journeying on the water. Today Shrek will be joining us. Eleanor here is our main driver. Thank you Eleanor. It looks like they're putting up the sail at the moment. But I don't actually know. Eleanor can hold it into the wind, we'll get a bit more sail up. Because we're a bit too slow, aren't we? It's getting really wavy now. Yeah, the thing. Eleanor's scared. So Cleo's going to show you, since it's looking very pretty because the sun's come out. So I've got my line out, and on this I've got a lure. It's a short lure, tiny little sinker lure, and on that I've also got feathers. So I can double up once again, a bit of bass, a bit of mackerel. Earlier on I had a bass on the line, I couldn't believe it. it was definitely at least a two kilogram bass, so it would, would have been within legal limits. And I almost had it on the boat and I lost it. So we're making our way to Hurst Castle now. Um, over there's the needles. It's, it's going that way. I just don't know where I'm pointing. But it's somewhere over there. Right, we're now coming to Hurst Point. It's a very difficult manoeuvre to get in through the Hurst Point on a very small engine. But we're we've just downhauled the sail and we're going to come in at Hurst Point and try and anchor inside. Which is a very sheltered area that can do some swimming and some diving, catch some fish. Okay, we have anchored at Hearst Castle now. We've just passed Yama. We're going to do some swimming in a minute. Probably. And the ground. What does that mean? Um, well, we're stuck in the bottom. Oh. Okay, we're going to get changed because we're, we're going to go swimming. Hi everyone, 
we're celebrating arriving <laughs> special wedging bank of the wedge <laughs> bottom of the sea. <laughs> There's the bottom. Yeah, you can see the bottom easily, look. There's the, the okay, anchor. Around the other Um, so we've been well stuck done. on a bank for like at least an hour. Um, so you said, and we finally got moving. So we're heading home now. Evie, you're in the way. Again, day two, um, and we're back at Surin already. We didn't film us coming here because we already filmed that last time. But we're just about to do some crabbing, and then we're gonna head off to a place. I don't actually know where it is. Okay, so right now, um, I am putting like the ham in, <laughs> I'm putting the ham in so the crabs can, it's basically like bait for the crabs to get into the net. We don't really need to get any crabs unless they're like, they're like edible, but it's fun anyway. Now we've just got some new rod holders. It's a lovely stainless steel rod holder which you can angle. Come have a look at these. And they're going to be so good because with the boat is always cluttered with stuff. Uh, so I've just fitted these. Okay, um, we've had a success. We've got one little crab. He really wants to get out. We'll put him back in a, in a minute. They didn't really like it, obviously, but... <laughs> don't worry, we'll pee back in a minute. Probably really scared. Got some fish too. I think I'm going to call him Jace Jr. Yep, you just push him down. Hold on to his back like that. Hold that ankle. Oh, he's only got one claw. Huh? Back like that. I'm picking up like that. Reach back with his claw to pinch me. Oh, almost made it then. Did you see that? Don't film that. I'm just trying to stroke it with my feet. Okay, so we're gonna let them go now. Okay, let's just. Look at him. Are we on lunch? I don't know. We're going to have on the tides, on scam. It's a new town for swim. swim. But first, I'm going to have lunch and a little bit of beer, but not too much. So the safety is paramount. So Eleanor is normally driving the boat. 
um, which you can see in a couple of shots of the last vlog. But she's not here at the moment, so we've got Jess driving. Uh, we're going out on a jibe, um, once again down to Newtown Creek because that's the tides favour us. It's a very fast tide here, about three to four knots. Uh, we've never, we're not doing any motor sailing today, we're just going on the sail because Helen, who doesn't like having the engine off, is not with us today on the boat. Hi, we just um, anchored off Newtown Creek again. We did go in there, but there wasn't any space and it was a bit cold and windy. So we're out here in the sun and we're going to do a bit of swimming. Oh, well. That's the anchor alarm going off, so you might be able to hear in the background. So we just went to the beach and like, like a little island and so we went in the tiny boat. And um, we got some shells. We got this one. Um, I found this one. It's not. It's not much. And then I've got my mini collection of little things. I've got my tiny shell. And these two little shells. I thought this one was cute because it was shiny. Um, and then um, these two little stones just because it looked cute with them and it kind of went with the colour scheme and then this which is um mother of pearl and i found that and it was really shiny this is my special drawer and i put all my like collected things in there i might have some gum actually okay um now we're gonna go swimming um and i'm gonna be the best swimmer <laughs> Oh. Oh. What? Oh my god. And that is our approach. Right, we need to get shifting. I think we're on the bottom. Again. Is it working? Um, as you can see, as you can see, something a little bit terrible has happened. It'll be fine in like about half an hour and then we'll just get back on it. <laughs> We've experienced a little Titanic. Okay. Um, we've been here for like maybe half an hour, or maybe an hour. Um, <laughs> and we're waiting for the boat to become like, like rideable. Again, <laughs> oh no! Jace is just going to get a beer and some food because we're hungry, and we've got his bag with Chris, and we're basically just like we're basically stuck here, like for who knows how long. But it's getting better. We do, I don't think we said the name of our boat. Our boat is called Seren. <laughs> Um, on our way back to the boat, I think, again, sunset. Okay, we finally got the boat moving, and now we're heading back. It's gonna take, it's gonna take a while even just to get back. We've been waiting for like, I don't know, two, two hours maybe. Hi, um, it is the next day. We got back at about 11 last night because obviously we got stuck again. For the past the past two days we got stuck. But we're fine now. We're gonna end the vlog there.